guys, what's going on? It's Clay, and I got another update for my telly. And uh, all right, so here's where we're at. I've got screws, holes drilled um, for all these places. I also uh, did some drawing out for the route for the uh, P90s. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap here, but I knew that going in, and there's just nothing I can really do about it. I mean, maybe if I wanted to do like a slant, but that's just gonna be way too complicated. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, who knows, maybe someday if I get really good with wood, I'll glue in something. I don't know. I'm, I don't think that's really going to bother me. It's just kind of, I want P90s in this guitar. I got this body for cheap. So this is kind of the route I'm going. But that is not going to really, I don't think, bother me. But what is a problem right now, and is something that I need to be very patient in figuring out, is that I drilled the screw holes. Um, so what I did was I put the pick guard in exactly where I wanted it, and I just took a little pencil and circled holes in each little slot. Then I took, busted out the drill and screwed the holes. But now that I, you know, put the guard on, put all the pick, the screws in, they're not all in right now, I noticed that somehow it actually became a little bit off-centered. Um, it's a little bit, if, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's a little bit this way. Um, and then this actually, it's real tight in here, but up here it kind of slants off to the left as well. Um, so, uh, actually I'm going to take these screws off right now and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So the problem with that is that the spot for the P90, I traced that off the pick guard, but if that pick guard is off center, then my pick pickup is gonna be off center, and then that's just gonna be a whole mess. Um, so I kind of am figuring out how to proceed. I, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do because the kicker is I don't think all the pick guard screw slots are off. It's just a couple of them, and so somehow the pick guard is getting pushed and pulled in all these crazy directions and I don't know, it's just kind of insanity. But um, So I think I might keep a couple and then I'll kind of get to that in a minute. But as you can see, that looks off. That definitely looks off. There should be like an equal gap on the right and left side, but it's closer here and it's further away here. And it's also slanted as you can see, because right there it's lower, whereas right there, it's actually fairly high. Um, so as a whole, it's definitely slanted, uh, which is no bueno, we don't want that. So I think uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing actually, because if I put the pick guard on and use the neck pocket as kind of a guide, because actually this pick guard is really quite good. Um, when I get, see, if you can see in there, that hole is a little bit off-centered, but the pick guard is really good. Up in the neck pocket, it's really, it fits really tight around this edge. Um, so just using the neck pocket as a guide, and if you can see right there, you can see some of the line, whereas you can't really see it over here. Uh, so that tells me that the pick guard is actually shaped really nicely and will actually fit this guitar better than I had previously thought. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just, what I'm gonna have to do, I mean, especially that one is quite a bit off center. You know, leave, probably when, what I'm thinking about doing, I've done this before, is use uh, maybe toothpicks or matches and wood glue. And so I'll kind of coat the match or the, the toothpick in wood glue and stick it in the slot and then uh, clip it off with like a toenail clippers and then let it dry maybe for like overnight or something and then come back at it tomorrow. And then what I think I'm going to do to proceed is to just be really careful about rescrewing my holes and constantly checking and rechecking that, you know, like in the neck pocket that everything is staying nice and good and that the spacing, you know, just having that little bit of spacing there um, on each side of the, the pickup route is good. Uh, just being really careful and, and then actually putting the screws in as I go um, so that I, everything can be really, because I think part of what got me before is that, you know, while I was pencil marking each of these slots, you know, if the pencil would move ever so slightly or if the pick guard would move as I was doing my rounds, you know, then it gets a little bit off and there's a little bit of deviation. So, and this is really important, I think, that I get it all lined up correctly. Uh, just because this is the kind of stuff that's, I mean, I don't want to have, it's going to be underneath a pick guard, but I want that route to be tight. 
I want it to be accurate. Um, you know, I don't necessarily want it to be kind of a junky job. And I'm going to have a hard enough time doing it as is because I don't have like a full-on router. Um, and actually what I think I have decided to do is I'm actually going to use a drill and I'm going to use the biggest drill bit I have and I'm just going to, you know, drill, I don't know, 20 different little holes kind of around the outside and drilling out the middle and I'm going to use that to remove the wood instead of trying to, you know, almost sand it away with the Dremel and then use the Dremel as kind of like a, a touch-up type of a piece to kind of smooth and flatten everything out and maybe even use hand sandpaper. Um, to, and it, with that way, I can kind of work slowly, um, you know, really make sure that I'm taking my time, keep the actual, uh, you know, the P90 pickup cover handy and constantly trying to make sure that it's, I'm not going too far, um, you know, because you can always take your time and go really slowly, but once you go too far, you can never get it back. So I uh, definitely want to make sure that I do my best there. So. But yeah, I'm pretty excited with how things are looking right now, and you know, actually, I think I might try to do a slanted pickup there. That could be tricky, though. That could be really tricky, but it might be worth it in the end. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. That well, that'll take. I'm gonna have to wait for the neck to get in, because then what I would do is put the neck pickup in, put the bridge on, and then probably string up the outside two strings, and then get the pickup into a position where it's actually, you know, going over the pole pieces correctly um, and doing it that way. But, yeah, we'll see. I still, I kind of like the idea of just leaving it as is, but there's going to be a little gap there. So I'll figure that out as I go. But, you know, these types of things happen. These are the little details. Um, every guitar I put together has had something like this. Um, and in the past, so, you know, depending on how good I am or how patient I am, either I fix it or I just kind of gloss over it and keep going. But this is something I think that's going to be a really big deal because it's going to affect, you know, how straight my route is, um, how straight the pick guard is, the neck pocket, the, you know, how straight these pickups are. So, you know, when you're dealing with something like that, you really got to take your time. Whereas if it's just like, oh, I took a chunk out of here, I mean, that's not a huge deal because there's going to be something covering it. So, uh, these kinds of things happen. It always, you know, the parts are, you know, they're all spec to fit together, but there's always a little bit of wiggle room. Um, you know, and I'm happy with GFS. They actually sent me some really good stuff, and I'm definitely excited to get it together. But, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, let me know if you guys have any tips, um, specifically with routing for somebody who doesn't want to get a router, or even if there's, like, a better way to make sure all this is aligned. Um... Any tips would be much appreciated or any questions that you guys have if you're doing your own would be much appreciated as well. And I'll see you soon.